We're here to make basic pizza dough, just like you get in great restaurants. And I've gone to a great restaurant to get the recipe. We've got Anthony Falco right here from Roberta's Pizzeria in Brooklyn. We're gonna make pizza dough a lot easier than you think. We've got unbleached all-purpose flour, salt, and now you are adding double zero flour? Yeah, this is the traditional flour of Italian pizza, Naples pizza. We have water here, olive oil, and then we put in some yeast. And then we're just gonna mix by hand. Just gonna kinda use one hand to go around the bowl. Wanna get all of the mix. And what we're doing here is we're mixing to combine. Now, mixing to combine, that basically means we wanna mix it just until it's come together as dough, and then we wanna stop. And then we're just gonna let it sit for a little while? Yeah, we're gonna let it rest. All right, for how long? Uh, you know, it depends on the temperature of your room, but I would say about 15 minutes. It's almost there. We just need to coax it a little further along with some kneading. Just until it becomes really silky smooth. And then we're gonna separate it into the two pizzas that it's gonna make. Then we're gonna just gently roll it into a ball. So we're gonna put a little bit of our flour on the bottom of the plate. Yeah. So it doesn't stick. Got it. And then we're gonna cover it. So this is gonna go in the fridge, and then uh, we're gonna let 24 hours go by. 24 hours ago, we got this going. Be very gentle when you take it out. So you're gonna use a little flour around the outside, and you can use a little spatula will do too if you don't have one of these, and put it where you're gonna work it with a little bit of flour underneath it. Now, the top should be the top, and the bottom should be the bottom. So we want the bottom to be more flour than the top, because that's what's gonna slide on. So we're gonna put extra amount of flour on the bottom. We're gonna use the tip of our fingers and we're gonna form the crust. So you can see I'm just making the little border. Pretty gentle. Really gentle. This is your baby. You spent 24 hours making it. Now is the time to be gentle. Okay. So when you pick it up, gravity is gonna start working and it's gonna stretch out the pizza dough mostly for you. And we're gonna just move it back and forth, moving it in a circular fashion. But also kind of rotating it a little bit? Rotating it and moving it back and forth. Now it's already grown a little bit. We're okay. trying to get to about 12 inches. So now you can do that. And if you really wanna speed up the process, you can use your fists. Oh, you kind now of just we're like getting pretty Mario that. Brothers. We wanna apply just a little bit more extra flour onto it. We're gonna flip it over. Okay. All right, so now we just gotta certify that it can move around, right? Yep. We just wanna make sure that there are no sticky points. This is a metal peel that we have. What if I don't have a peel? If you don't have a peel, you could just put it on a cutting board and slide it onto the oh, pizza stones from there. Oh, same principle. It would have been done even faster in a wood oven? A little bit faster. In a wood oven uh, at 1,000 degrees, our pizzas cook at about 60 seconds. Okay, so you can do it at the restaurant in 60 seconds. It takes us four minutes here. Yeah, I mean, it's still pretty quick. Can we eat this pizza? Yeah. To the victors belong the spoils. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that cheese came off. Beautiful. Oh hot. Oh hot. Good though. Really good. Mm-hmm.